Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. Now, I would like to fix something today. In fact, there's a couple of things I've fixed. And also would like to do some processing with those slime balls. Because they're pretty awesome. I think I'm also going to have to do some processing with other bits and pieces later on. Anyway, let's get on with this one. What I've, I haven't got a problem is in here, in this compact machine where I've got all of the these things running on all the time making lots and lots of uh, scrap to make UU matter and that runs all the time but in some of these uh, assembly machines we have stuff that wants to be processed and it's not getting done like this one here I want to make some iron machine holes and they're not getting processed and they don't get a chance to get processed so today's episode I'd like to fix that and I'm going to use actually an old technology or reasonably old technology anyway I'm going to use uh, gates from uh, BC. Is it BC machines? I forgot which one it is. Uh, BT transport, yes. What I'm going to do is put down here some of these like this. In fact, what I tried is all sorts of things. I tried to put a comparator. Let's have a look. I've got a comparator in here already. I tried to put a comparator down so that you would actually indicate when something's ready, which is the one that's got some stuff in. I think it's this one. Like that. I've tried to do comparators without any success. Let's put that down there. Because that should give some signal saying that it's got a redstone output when it gets something in it or it's full or something like that. Hopefully that was what I was hoping for. But I didn't get anything. So I tried a few other things, put that some and then I eventually remembered, oh we've got we've got these uh gates. I wonder if they can help us. Well, the answer is they can. So I'm going to put them on the front. It doesn't really matter where we put them. Like that. And then I'm going to go through these. Normally you just left click these and you go through high energy stored and then you can actually tell you what you want to do. Well I want to output a redstone signal. Oh, there's nothing, there's no high energy stored in this one. So low energy stored. So that means it's got some power, means it's got some items in the inventory. It hasn't because they're off. This one, it's got an empty inventory, that's true, so it's redstone signals on. This one here is a full inventory, and it's off because it's not full. In fact, we know it's empty in this thing. This one says it's got a redstone signal when there's space in inventory. Yes, well, that's obviously the case. Items traversing, pipe empty, redstone signal on, redstone signal off. Work done. Work done's on, so it's obviously that. Has work. Has work. Doesn't have any work. That's actually correct. And that's the one we're going to use. So we're going to set that up on all of these. So just simply right click both and it goes straight to the one we want since it happens to make life easier. So this one should give a redstone signal because it's got some work to do. Like that. Now you probably can guess where I'm going to go with this now, can't, aren't you? Because what we can do with these is we can actually use this redstone signal to turn off the one of these two um, transfer nodes. I'll turn off this one as it happens. So all we now do is run some redstone down the front here. Like this. In fact, it doesn't really matter how we do this. I think those are the ones we actually want. You'll see it doesn't connect to anything here at all. Now the bit, the bit, the bit that was actually difficult to do is the next bit. So I've got some insulated co uh, redstone conduits because I want to get that signal to here like this. So I want to basically put it down on this machine here. Now it doesn't connect. So we want to go back down to this redstone signal here. So we can actually connect it to that. I think it has to go here. Yes, that connects automatically because it's a redstone signal. And it says it's here. It shows you it's on, which is uh, pretty good. Now the way to actually fix this one here is you shift left click it. And the one we want is down. So what we want is if we want it, it's not input output. Oh, it is an input output. And that'll then have a signal coming down here. And that'll then, oops, just turn that, just run too to much. We'll turn this off. Let's look at this. So that's now turned off. It's not going through. So this will empty out. As you can see, it should be emptying out the phyto groove fairly quickly because this goes fairly fast. The, the scrap's still coming in, but the phyto groove isn't. So shortly, this will exit. We'll just watch it in a few seconds. This will turn off because there's no more fire to grow in there. 
like that and that then gives a chance for these to work so here we are this one's now active and it's going to make those as soon as that finishes that good turns off again and this starts to fill up again it's as simple as that so that basically is maximizing the amount of um, generation of scrap without having a complete duplicate set of lasers which i think is a nice pretty good solution of course i could do this differently i could use the conduit on these as well like this and then i could actually also shift left click on these like this and say i want the down one and i want it to be an input output and it would then connect to this one as well so we could connect those through that way across which is probably neater uh, probably more in keeping with modded minecraft but i would like the redstone because you, you can see it very easily so that was that uh, little trip tip or trick whichever you like so the next one that's a uh, i want to come back and do some more work with these slime balls because they're driving me crazy the idea i thought they were actually is such they're so they do generate a lot of carbon and one of the things i've been doing is i've been going off to the the moon of mining just to set up a mine so we get some more coal in but for carbon well since we can use these and these have quite a lot of carbon basically it's this polymetal metal cryate and that's got well let's have a look three for each one of those we've got five carbons so oh, no times three so we've got 15 carbons coming out so let's set it up I've got an auto workbench I'm not sure whether that's particularly useful we'll take everything out of here actually I think that's what we need and I want these basically so we can set the, the recipes up and I'll move this but for the time being we're going to put it here like this so I don't need that one at the moment I don't think so the first thing we have to do is we have to decompose this uh, slime balls well not slime balls we're going to decompose the um, magma creams so let's make the magma cream first of all like that so we're going to basically put this into here like that so we're going to get one mercury one plutonium and three polymetal cryates so now what we can do so you come along here and we do the next machine so what i also want to do is i want to put an in, uh, an emmy interface on the top of this so let's do that as well i probably haven't got enough cable with me i've got one piece and that's but i've got plenty in the back i've got 62 uh, 64. we'll take these that should do this that should do the trick so we basically come along here and we want to let's put this down like that That's how I wanted to do it. So we'll put an ME interface on here like that. So we need some ME interfaces, which I've got in the bag, I think. I've got six. I'll take all but one. I think we need five. I think we need at least five, but I'm not 100% sure at the moment. So we'll make these the flat ones. Like that. And we'll put this into here. Like so. Um, actually, it's not an ME interface. I want it's an export bus. we want to export into here magnet creams uh, yeah import buses oh, i'll need those anyway but we need to make some more by the looks of it so put that down there like that so we're going to tell it we want to export magnet creams oh, i haven't got my magnet cream now because because i've just decomposed it so i'll make another one <laughs> like that so that's what we're going to export into here I don't think I've got any magna creams in stock. Oh, yes, I have got a few. I'm not sure how many I've got. Let's have a look. Ah, I know what I need to do with this one. I want to change this. I want to put a crafting card in here. I think I can do. Yes, I can. And I want to only do not use stocked items. Only craft when it's. Let's so say do not use craft items. I just didn't read it until the items of um, only ex craft items while exporting okay good now we don't have a crafting recipe for magna creams yet i don't think no we don't so that other otherwise this would be filling up again wouldn't it 
So now that those can get put imported into the system. So let's put down the import bus. I think that's the export bus. Let's put, I'll need, we need that one. I'll put an import bus onto there like that. So that'll import all of these items in here. So we get those items. Now, have I got enough of what I want? I haven't got plutonium, I need plutonium. Yeah. And the nice thing about that is guaranteed. So the next thing of this process, we're going to then start to synthesize back. Um, where have we got chemical synthesizers? We're going to synthesize the polymethyl cry into um, uh, magnet, uh, slime walls. So let's do that. I've got to be a bit careful because I've got a sec the same recipe elsewhere as well. So let's bring this across here a couple, couple of times. There's one in the factory. It'll be doing. Maybe it'll interfere with this. I'm not 100% sure. I'll find out. So what we need is the. I've already set up the recipes here for the slime pool. So we've got slime pool in here. So we can then come to this and we'll say we're going to put great slime pool. So that's basically one polymethyl cryo. Very straightforward. Now we're going to put onto this a. I think we need to put onto this an ME interface. So we do that one. I haven't done this. I'm doing it as I'm doing it live first time. I sort of done it automatically. So we need to set up the recipe for this. So let's go and do that. Oops, wrong place. I was setting up diamond gears. I was actually for EMC values, but I found something even better. All right, so. Here we got a blank pattern, so we want to basically make um, blaze powders, and we need slime balls. We've got plenty of slime balls, so basically we want a process pattern. So we're going to say one of these is going to make one slime ball. We've, got, uh, we've already got this pattern elsewhere, so I think that might be a problematic. We'll see. As I said before, so I don't need that anymore. So the other one we need is the plutonium. So let's clear that recipe off. So we're going to have one plutonium is going to make one blaze powder. Like that. I think those are the only two recipes we need for the time being. Yeah. I'm not even sure whether I'm using the right stuff here. I've, I know what it might be. I might need to use, not an item buffer, I might need to use the other one, the fluid tank. I forgot where I put it actually, it's the, uh, the crafting one. I've got them somewhere. I haven't lost them, I don't think, so that's that, fine. So now we can put into this. We're gonna set this to blocking, so we don't make more than we ever need to. And we also need in here a crafting card, and I haven't got any crafting cards for me, so let's just put into this the slime ball recipe, like that. And let's go and get some crafting cards, because I haven't got any of those at the moment. this one and I haven't got <laughs> I haven't got any of the bits I need for that brilliant let's just do some of this I think we'll make six like that okay good and I'll just have to get that out of my um, Bag. I won't need the pickaxe, I don't think. Let's just get the, the network tool out of here like that. Put those crafting cards into that. All right, good. So now I think we just set this up to be a crafting recipe. So one of the, I think this works that way. Yes, it does good. So that'll then start to manufacture for us um, slime balls on demand. And I have to change this as well. 
Do not push crafting items while it contains an inventory. Good. It doesn't have an inventory next. So the next one after this, of course, is this. Uh, I can hear zombie pigmen and uh, zombie pigmen. Yes, zombie pigmen. I think a bit distracting. So what we will do the next one is the next chemical synthesizer. Let's do it like this. Let me invent have my hotbar organized so. And to this one we can actually put the blaze powder recipe. And then we're going to put into this the crafting recipe for this. We need a crafting card. Should I shift click those away? That's what happened to those. Okay. Try not to do that in future. <laughs> So I just put one in. I didn't need the network tool in my hand at all, did I? So we want this recipe, place powder. Like that. And again, we want blocking. I think that's all we have to do for that. So now we've got, this thing will be decomposing uh, slime balls slime balls we can then start to make here and here um and then next one we need to do is we need to make those turn those into a proper magna cream again so let's do that this thing is quite slow the auto workbench but i don't think it matters for this for what we want to do and i need a slime ball and i need a mag uh, oh i can do that from here can't i Let's take one of those out of there and let's take one of these out of here. That's also a good check. Now plutonium is radioactive, so we have to watch out for that. Uh, I might need a... No, that's fine. Actually, I will need it, in fact, here. So we'll need to put in here an export bus in this time. And we're going to have to put both a fuzzy card and a... Uh, capacity card in here so let's put one fuzzy card in here so we can get the two items in and one capacity card sorry I mean fuzzy card so we'll get match any of the types so we'll actually be able to pull in the um oh hold on a second I've got that wrong haven't I I need the fuzzy card ah oh, I might have done this wrong well fine. I'll find out in a second so basically, we can. I haven't put in the uh, import buses yet, have I? So let's do the import buses. One in each machine. So we should be able to craft these up. So basically, one blaze powder plus one slime will, will make a magna cream. So we can put those two in there like that, and you'll see it ticks across like this. And that should actually get imported into the system. like that and so that's working so i'm not sure that's going to actually work because that's not going to do the export stuff for me is it it's going to craft on export uh, i don't think i've got this quite right yet might be i might have to redesign it all together who knows usually usually these things do work like that so the next thing we want to do as we then basically want to cat well we're going to get quite a lot of um, metal cryot aren't we so we can now put down a decomposer here and we into this we can then sort of export um let me export buses we can export the metal cryot here polymetal cryot comes into that like that and I think that'll probably all that needs to do, doesn't it? And you see it's actually bringing those down. So we're getting metal, metal cryate in here like this. So I don't know how much polymethyl cryate we've got in the system. Let's have a quick look. We've got quite a lot, 60. I hope I'm not going to mess things up too much. Well, I think we might. I might be, but we'll see. <laughs> oh dear. We should work this whole sort of process through first, shouldn't I? So the next one along the line is to go and take these. 
and we're going to decompose these like that. So we've already got our oxygen and our car carbon coming out of here like that. And then after that, we're going to do the last one of those two, or those three, which is metal. Let's leave that in there. Put that into there. So that's giving us carbon and hydrogen. So all I now need to do is to bring these into here, and this is where I've actually got to problem haven't I because I haven't designed it correctly but I'll fix it either now or between episodes probably between episodes to be honest with you all right those are good enough so now what can we do with these we just basically need an export bus on this one and an export bus on this one and then input buses on the bottom. So let's have a look. What do we actually? A little bit of this one that comes out of here like this. So we want one of these. Oh, I've got plenty. Put that into there. And then it's going to be coming out of here. So we want the metal from that one. And we put those into this thing here like this. And that should be all we need to do. So we can put those into there. And that gives us more carbon. Put those into here. Into here. Yep, and then we're going to put this one as basically just these polymethyl cryots, isn't it? And we're going to end up with a lot of mercury at the end of this day. Now let me get do this one. I think I haven't got enough import buses. Yeah, I need another import bus. Or maybe I've got some. No, I've actually run out. Let's craft six of these. And that will trigger off other things to happen, I guess. Let's have a look at the crafting status on here like this. It's always crafting cobblestone because it's getting drops. It's crafting some plutonium, iron and some... Yeah, it's working reasonably well at the moment. Things are moving. So now I need, that's the last one of these, isn't it? Just this one down goes down here like that. So that's the chain. And this thing's going to make it slow. So have we got that into this? No, we haven't got, <laughs> still haven't got that into there. Okay, let's just do this one more time. Let's put that into there and get these two out. Did I get them out? Yes, I did. So we now need to, oh, yes, of course. Let's put those in there and get a slime ball or two. Let's put this one into here. Oh, I, yes, I did catch it. And I got, oh, I got two already. So now we make this recipe, we put, yes, we need these into here, don't we? Slime balls and place powders. Now I do need a fuzzy card in here, but I can't put a fuzzy card in here, can I? Because this plutonium one is the one that decays. So I have to do that slightly differently. So I presumably have to do this with us an intermediate inventory. So let's try that as it happens, because we don't want any plutonium in the system because it's radioactive. Now, how am I going to do that? Just for, just for now, we'll do it like this. Come out here too much, and then we'll come out to an export card. Yeah. Import buses, where's the export buses? Can I use those a lot? Put half of those in there. So an export card, we can put out here like this. What we want to export out of here would be plutonium. Um, and I reckon I've probably got some plutonium in the system, so let's have a look at that. Hell, lots of it, look at that. Of course, they're all de decaying, so we need to basically get these input into some inventory. What have I got with me? I've got some chests. Let's put a chest down here. And then we can export into this plutonium. So we need a fuzzy card and plutonium. So in this chest we should now get 
start getting plutonium in which we are great put that one in as well so now we can feed this plutonium into this uh, chemical synthesizer in fact that's actually got to go in okay I've got to do it differently it's got to go in the top hasn't it to no, actually it can go in the sides as well but I don't think it can go in the front I'll tell you what we'll try we'll try putting it in the front see if it works um, I need my bag so one item duct will do fine okay we don't really care what we export we just want to export everything into here so let's just set that into insert mode and let's set this to always active so now we're getting plutonium in and sure enough those are getting converted to blaze powders as you can see which is actually good because that's the way I think I want it to work so now <laughs> look at this these are going to go through very slowly make magna creams the magna creams are going to come back into here should come into here I probably have to change that to use docked items now because it's not going to do it otherwise is it sure enough these are going to produce plutonium polymethyl cry and uh, mercury hmm okay I think that's going to carry on working we'll see I'm going to have to look at what we got for polymethyl cryot in the system at the moment this one so at the moment we've got 14 oh that's going to no that's not going to be any use to us at all is it this particular interface So I shall remove this interface. Pick up the cards. <laughs> Look at that. Floating around. Put the cards back in the... Uh, actually, I can do that easier, can't I? Just click on one of these like this. And then you can put everything back into here so we can put it into that way like that. I think there was two cards, wasn't there? I know it was this encoded pattern that I was using so what's happened now yes the only thing I'm worried about is that these will actually fill up completely but I think at the moment it's just fine so those will go through and make loads of carbon and hydrogen now what I also would like to do is to stop this when any one of the these components get completely full at the moment hydrogen's half full but it's going up quite quickly and carbon is completely full and oxygen is also completely full but what I also need to do next after all of this is to add another component to this because what one of the things I'm using this for is I need to make coal so we need another synthesizer which I haven't got with me. Let's go and quickly go and make another synthesizer. I've actually got them in the factory, but for the sake of it, I'm going to make another one. Which doesn't generally don't take very long to make. And we just need to run some more cables down the bottom here and the back for power. Let's do the power on first. Then we need the one at the bottom. And then one at the top and then we're going to make coal so let's put the synthesizer down like this let's set in the recipe I've got the oh, chemical decomposer wrong one I thought it looked wrong I need a pickaxe for this actually is where the pickaxe is needed Ah, oh, there we are, synthesizer. Let's put it away. So now we just need, I haven't got any. Yeah, we can just put carbon as a straightforward export, can't we? So let's export carbon into this and then we can make coal. 
So here's the chemist journal. I've got a recipe for coal already set up. Just eight pieces of carbon in the top left hand corner makes coal. In fact, it really wants to be an input bus, doesn't it? Let's have a look. I mean, an interface. Let me interface. We'll use this one. Because we would like to have a recipe for that. We don't want it just generating coal all the time. And then we just import it underneath like that. So let's go and get the it's just eight pieces of carbon we need for that. Let's just get some carbon out of here. And let's go back upstairs. I want a new pattern, don't we? Just to process pattern. Clear that one off. So we can put eight pieces of coal and they go in the top left and that makes uh, sorry eight pieces of carbon that makes one coal like that take that processing button we'll put that downstairs and get rid of the blaze one blaze powder one now i think because there should be a limited amount of plutonium but i'm not 100 percent sure about that because plutonium is being used in other processes so really I want this to be isolated and I'm not doing it very well. But anyway, for now we'll put it in like this. So now it'll start to make coal on demand using that recipe, hopefully. Now the other thing I've done, let's see how that runs, is this. I had the, the um, routers, item routers in there, but it kept on getting crossed over in terms of recipes, so they weren't working very well. So all I've done basically is split it up and put an interface on each one, and put one single recipe in each one, like that. So the, the items will never get messed up in that case, either or no. Either it doesn't have the right quantity or something, but the rest of it's just fine. And in fact, if I remember rightly, if I look at this thing here, recipes, there are only six anyway. So we're making all six of these. Except for that one, we haven't got the fusion call recipe set up because I've only got five of these at the moment. If I want to do that, I have to create another one. In fact, I probably will do that between episodes. And this block down here is also quite nice. It's a sealable aluminium wire. So that sort of hides the holes in the floor. I think that looks nicer doing that than it does like this. <laughs> we can actually, and they're actually made fairly simply, but I've, I'll show you how they're done. Oh, I haven't got any there. I thought I, oh yes, I, I thought I had got some sealable wire. Let's have a look at aluminium wire. Nope, I haven't got any. So if we look for seal, we can see the sealable aluminium wire is made from iron machine holes. That's why I was making the iron machine holes. So if we go for here, we go the iron machine holes. Ah, I know where they are. One thing I did between up here was to actually create another laser here and then put into this just for ad hoc stuff. So I should have had... Oh no, I haven't put them there. I thought I had done them there. Maybe I've got them in, maybe I've got them in stock actually. Let's look for hole. Yeah, nine machine holes. Which then you can basically put into here and then Oops, you get a choice. You get a choice when you put it into here. So for instance, if I put one of those into that, we can make a, a sealable oxygen, a sealable aluminium wire, or a sealable heavy aluminium wire. So we want one of these, for example. That'll kick in in a few seconds. It doesn't, it's not too bad. I like that, let me get this thing. And all you need to do to put this down is to break what you've got already. So let's just come along here, for example, and I saw one. Where's it gone to? Here we are. Just to break this piece of wire here, put this down. Everything links up. It looks much nicer. So that's it for this episode. I'm not sure whether that contraption is going to work or not, but uh, hopefully it will do. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.